we are at the embassy of Italy in India and along with the Indo-Italian Chamber of Commerce a three-day event have started today where Italian manufacturing companies are showcasing their capabilities for make in India and we are here at Marelli India stall you know there are a lot of vehicles be it two-wheelers or four-wheelers around us but do you know when it comes to the vehicle personality or vehicle performance which we will hear more from the president of Marelli India who plays a significant role the company plays a significant role uh, providing a lot of components uh, for you know in whichever vehicle you are having so we are having with us uh, Mr. Ravi who is the president of Marelli India as well as the global president of Marelli Electronic Systems so uh, what brings Marelli here? Well, Marelli is here for several years. Yeah? So Marelli is a 100 years old company uh, with a 15 billion revenue with almost 54,000 employees globally. India is a significant market for Marelli. Yeah. Um, we, are, we have started the activities in India from 2007 onwards. And there were, we were called Mag Magneti Marelli and now we are Marelli, yeah? invested by the KKR group. What we do is primarily, as you said, focusing on two areas, vehicle personality and vehicle performance. Vehicle personality includes the look and feel of the car, both from the exteriors as well as the interiors. We do the, elect the lighting systems, both the front and the tail lamps. We do the keyless entry systems. We do the interiors. We do the smart surfaces. We do the wiper systems, body control modules clusters, cockpit systems, uh, um, I, I think I covered the smart surfaces already. So these are all there in, in as part of the vehicle personality segment. And when it comes to the vehicle performance segment, we focus on the transmission products. 85% uh, of today's AMT products uh, in India are done by are, 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 are getting into Indian cars. We have 85% market share. Kind of a monopoly. Almost, yeah. Uh, and that really marks us the performance and quality. So if somebody is taking 85% of, of, of a company's product, that means you can see the quality that is coming in. And especially coming into the Indian segment, the, it's very price sensitive, yet very performance driven. So all our vehicles, 7 out of 10 vehicle, uh, uh, or cars of Suzuki have our products. It's going into our Tata, it's going into Mahindra's, and uh, uh, and globally into uh, Stellantis, Nissan, and whatever uh, global companies are. We are also making it here, exporting uh, outside. And it's not only the AMT products, but also the fuel injection systems, the uh, the the pumps. Um, we have GDI, the gasoline direct injection uh, systems. We are also focusing on the alternate fuel technologies uh, uh, using the ethanol uh, mix solutions. Uh, which are very, which are already launched in uh, in in globally in um, our Latam and Brazil areas. Now we are bringing into India, with the Indian government bringing in these regulations of 80% ethanol mix gradually. Yeah, our products are uniquely placed to cater this because we already serve this segment in Brazil, and our ECUs are capable of detecting and configuring the ethanol mix automatically, and defining the performance automated and driving the performance. So therefore, these are the really proven technologies that we are offering into the Indian market. This is on the performance side. Also on, we are work on the suspension systems, um, also the active and passive suspension systems. There are, some of them are also electronically controlled suspension systems. Electronically controlled? Yeah. Suspension systems. Suspension systems. Then we also have exhaust systems. Uh, green, we also call it as green technologies, which really control uh, the thermal emissions, the exhaust emissions, and we, our exhaust systems are very are, are, are giving a performance towards very clean emissions um, on the road, basically. Then we are also focusing on thermal management, which is also helping us in the transition between uh, a ICE engines to a hybrid technology to an electrification areas. So this is what I summarize, we are focusing on 
vehicle personality and vehicle performance. More importantly, all of this today is also driven by electronics. There are almost 120 ECUs in a, in a mid-size segment car and all of this we are converging into 15 to 20 ECUs to enable the OEMs transform into the next generation electrical and electronic architectures which will also drive the autonomous vehicles, the electrification and so on. And we are therefore defining a common architecture both in terms of hardware and software with service containers, micro containers, but this is, the, we are truly defining the path to make the car a computer on wheels. See, this is again very, very informative information which you've given all to all of us. Yeah. So first of all, you are a hundred year old company. So yes. you are also part of the transformation for years and years. Yes. From 2007, you are in India. Yes. And I think you are having almost around 18 manufacturing facilities. Yes, yes so we have invested heavily into India. We have 18 manufacturing uh, plants, some of them with our joint ventures. We believe in partnerships and ecosystem. So we are manufacturing all of these products you see. Um, these are the exhaust systems um, uh, that we have. These are our lighting products, which is catering to the personality. Uh, these are front end, uh, the tail lamps. And also these are LED, micro LED based lights. The, we are also focusing on technology, which will enable in the automatic beam formation. Especially, it's all like all, all, almost like a military tech. You ride in the dark, you see an object, the beam is focused to that object to avoid accidents. Yeah. These are some of the products on our uh, uh, vehicle uh, um, personality, the cluster, uh, the body control and cluster modules uh, for the two-wheelers and the four-wheelers, different types of hybrid clusters, digital clusters. And this is what we are doing here, software-defined vehicle, which is Marelli's software for future, which we are enabling all the OEMs with. So actually, I think uh, this Mahindra uh, XUV 700, yeah. I don't know, I have seen similar. kind of a similar kind of yes, uh, display system. Yes. So uh, automotive, when we talk about automotive, it is one of the very dynamic, it is changing day by day. So now we know that uh, many automotive are going to EV. Yes. But now after talking to you, we are hearing that, okay, hybrid, then ethanol and then EV. So there are so much of transformation happening in the industry yes. right now. Yes. So how uh, Marelli plays a role there? So Marelli is, is looking into the industry as is each of the regions in each of the markets in different uh, uh, globally are going at, at their own pace. In India we see that the electric, the two-wheeler and three-wheeler market is first is the fast adapter for the electrification. The three-wheelers, the, the four-wheelers are adapting but not everybody at the same pace. So therefore we are looking into this and what we have done is this is our famous uh, the automatic manual transmission system with 85% of market share in India in India and 50% of market share globally yeah now this is also we are we are modifying this with the GDI fuel injection from this yeah to this yeah no not this to this this is the 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 transmission system this is the fuel rail injection system okay so for the fuel this is the, for the transmission system to work with a alternate fuel you need to have a different technology for heating okay, and okay. for injecting this. So, uh, and this is uh, our, uh, uh, the further fuel rail injection system, which will give you between 200 to 1000 bar thrust and power. So these are all becoming smart. That's these what you're telling. Yeah. From mechanical to mechatronics. To uh, mechanical to mechatronics. And what we are also defining is the electronics which is driving all of this, it determines the mix of the fuel and also determines amount of fuel to be injected to, to, to bring the more thrust and econo economy of fuel. So you are having more control yes. on the performance of a vehicle. Yes. You can actually predict. Yes, absolutely. We can actually predict. Now the transformation, irrespective of whatever is a technology, it requires, we are, uh, the thermal management becomes the key. So we are, Invest, we are changing from the AMT to e-motors and e-axle systems gradually. We are not industry leaders, but we are investing selectively here, again to bring the cost and economies of the scale. At the same time, giving our products to effectively manage the thermal systems and the cooling systems through the exhaust, through the battery management and other areas which we have.
amazing and actually within very short time i think we were able to cover a kind of work what mareli is doing in india yes thanks for your time we will be coming and meeting you more to understand about how you are leading the electronic systems globally yes from india and it's a very proud moment for all of us india that you know uh, you know you are heading an italian company globally so thanks for your time and we wish you all the best for you and mareli in india thank you my pleasure